Okay, uh, G&L Legacy Tribute. I thought I would do a little bit of a uh, guitar review on this. Those that don't know, it's made by George Fullerton and Leo Fender. After Leo left Fender, one of the companies he started was this one. Uh, great build quality. A lot of people say he even improved a little bit on the uh, designs he had at Fender, even though they're very similar. Um, anyway, it's got a maple neck, uh, rosewood fretboard, uh, fantastic bridge, uh, really smooth so when you're playing there's no sharp edge or anything, it actually feels really nice. It has a fantastic tremolo, which I don't use, I actually blocked mine, but it stays in tune really good. It's got the little string tree there for the B&E strings. Um, Three-way, five-way switch, volume, and uh, really if you're going to have a Strat, I think one of the great things is having a separate treble and bass tone control that affects all three pickups, which makes it even as versatile as a Strat is, makes it even better because you can within you can pretty much match it to any amp uh, using those controls, so and not make it you know too ice picky. Um, five way switch, yeah, that's what the back looks like. It's kind of like a natural finish bolt on neck. Um, and from what I understand, because this is the legacy, uh, the wood, the neck, and the wood and everything is done, I think, overseas, and then they ship it back and they put the American electronics in it. So it's American-made pickups and electronics in there, and, and even the bridge. Uh, so the, really, if you buy an American one, you're just gonna have the wood would be finished here in America, but, and you'd pay like three times as much. But anyway, I think it sounds great. I paid like 300 bucks for this one. Um, so anyways, I kind of have it on a clean setting. So I'll just play through a song here and um, just kind of switch the pickups as we go along and you can kind of hear each one what it sounds like and whatnot. Start, I'll just start on the bridge and kind of work my way up. Anyways, that's the clean sound. I kind of went through all the pickups there and you can hear it's got a lot of good clarity. And like I said, you can even dial in even more um, to your taste. So I'll go ahead and put it on an overdrive channel now and um, we'll listen to it, how it sounds overdriven as well. And I'll kind of go through some of the pickups on there. <laughs>
I'll just play through some other things here and you kind of listen to each thing. Uh, you kind of get a... Uh... <laughs> 